You're watching News 54. The underground water in Trukana, even if it will demand uh, uh, desalination, will be required. We have also looked at issue of infrastructure. We believe that Rift Valley, which constitutes 31%, 38% of the total Kenyan landmass, still needs access. A lot of areas are still rural, they have no access, so roads are still a priority. And the rest of the infrastructure, including the uh, the infrastructure from Lamu crisscrossing across the northern parts of the country, including Rift Valley, is still a critical area that government must invest to be able to unlock the potential here. We've also looked at the entire sector of conservation, wildlife, forestry, and think that there is still a lot that needs to be invested by government beyond 2022 to be able to unlock the potential that exists there. Tourism is one area also we've discussed, particularly improving the challenges that are currently being faced around our existing national parks like Masai Mara, where communities don't feel directly benefiting from that resource, but also unlocking the rest of the potential in central Rift Valley, in the northern Rift Valley, on the area of tourism, which we think uh, can be able to turn around this region from being uh, a region of many problems to a region that is, uh, that is producing for its people, but also for the country. We have also looked at trade, business, industry, we feel that that potential has not been fully utilized. We feel that uh, we are not exporting more. We feel that uh, uh, the country is importing more of what it can be able to produce, including maize. It is, it is importing meat, it is importing fish, it is importing literally eggs, it is li importing literally anything that it has the potential to produce. So, and we think that these are critical areas which our region can be able to focus on if, and, 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 and those are the priorities that we will be telling the next government, this is what we want and this is what we'll be using to negotiate our votes, to negotiate our ability and to be able to negotiate our, our place and the hustler's place on the table. There are many others, including the uh, policy and legislation, including how do we strengthen uh, implementation uh, 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 structures, how do we strengthen devolution, uh, which we think that uh, uh, during this very term, the strength of devolution has not been to where we will want it to, to, to be. I think uh, the next government should be able to take this much further and make sure that those benefits uh, emerge from the grassroots. We have agreed to form a committee of 14 to work on the details. And as I summarize, the issues we are coming up are issues that are going to be beneficial to the grassroots there are issues we will want to see developed from bottom up. So we've set up a committee of 14. Each county is represented. They will be working closely with the technical experts in the different sectors who are daughters and sons of the Rift Valley region. They have a two weeks time frame to work on this to be able to come up with a, with, a, with, a, with a draft blueprint, which we will convene again to come and discuss this and eventually go down to the people, collect more views, uh, and, 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 and within not more than three, four months, 
we will have had issues we think are going to be critical for Rift Valley to push for. As you can see the gathering of leaders here, it is about all counties, all communities of Rift Valley. They are all represented here. And we have said moving forward, it is going to be issues that will define the leadership and processes of government. It is going to be issues. It is not going to be about tribes. It is not going to be about individuals. It is about the issues which the people of Rift Valley and their leaders believe that these are issues that government must tackle. And we will be discussing these issues with Deputy President William Ruto, who is going to be one of the candidates for election in 2022. He comes from Rift Valley, but we don't want to assume that he knows the problems of Rift Valley because he's a national leader. We don't want to assume and go to bed that he will solve our problems. We will be also coming with issues of Rift Valley and telling him these are the issues we will want you to deliver. Tell us if you want to deliver them, we are together with you. If you don't want to deliver them, then give us the opportunity to look elsewhere. So that is the stand we've taken as these leaders. And for a matter of emphasis on what I've already said, I will ask uh, the patron of the Rift Valley elected leaders, Weshimua, on